the slapstick and innuendo, the Carry On team are getting together again for the first time in 10 years. Since Carry On Sergeant first hit the big screen in 1958, there have been over 30 of the saucy celluloid romps. Another is planned next year to celebrate the 30 years Carry On films have been titillating audiences with scenes like this. What's going on here? That's my bikini she's got on. Really? I don't know what she's talking about. No, 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 just a minute, girl. She nicked that from my dressing room last year. Darling, I wouldn't be seen dead in your own drag. Oh, you'll be seen dead if you don't give it back no, to no, me. No, no, that's quite enough of What are you doing? Go, I might get the wrong answer. Only to the bottom, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't changed. With me now, two Carry On stars, Bernard Breslau and Jack Douglas, as well as the director of the films, Gerald Thomas. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Gerald, let, let's start with you. I mean, why on earth bring them back after ten years? I mean, they were magic at the time, but haven't things rather moved on? Well, they have, but really we're bringing them back more or less by public demand. We've had an enormous amount of pressure and correspondence in the last six months. But are they still going to be the same? Is it still going to be some tits and bums and innuendos? And... Uh, yes, maybe bums and tits instead, but, but it's going to be the same, yes. Be... Now, what's, what's your feeling on this, Ben? Because you're obviously one of the stalwarts of the original films. I mean, are you still going to be playing the same sort of parts? Well, uh, I'll, I'm a bit mo I'll be modernised, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, I hope that uh, they'll have the same flavour we can recapture the flavour that has obviously appealed to so many people. Certainly I'm looking forward to it because they were the most enjoyable films to make. You haven't, I mean, I imagine that the feminists must be tearing their hair out to think that another film like that is going to be made. You haven't got any thoughts of doing a sort of non-sexist carry-on film? Oh, no. I mean, you can't do a non-sexist <laughs> carry-on film, can you? I should think they're planning demonstrations even now. But uh, I think there's a much larger audience that will appreciate them for what they are, which is an enormous amount of fun. Are you actually going to be making any changes, do you think, when you, when you come to it? I, I don't know. I, I think once you've got a comedy vein like the carry-ons have had over the years, you, you follow on that path. Because if it's still successful today, then the golden rule is don't change comedy if it works. And it does work. What do you think the appeal of it is, though? I mean, obviously you've got lots of pretty girls and lots of rude jokes, but do you think it's just that? Well, I, th I think, yes, I think you, you've gone to the extent of the title by saying rude. It is not offensive. You can watch it with your children. And there's not a lot of films today that you can do that with, and, and your children will laugh and you will laugh as well. I think if you can manufacture that again and again, you will keep going until we all fall over. I, I think one reason that I and a lot of my generation absolutely fell about over those films, you know, 10, 20 years ago, was that it, it always looked as though you were having a ball. It looked a wonderful sort of atmosphere all the time. Well, we were Was it like that off the set as it well? It was indeed, and I think uh, one of the reasons for that was because Jerry, the director, always chose, uh, whenever he could, the same team, not just from the point of the actors, but the, his camera crew, his lighting crew, costume and wardrobe and makeup were all largely the same people, so it was a huge extended family. Mm. And when we, whenever we met on the first day of shooting, you know, it was all about how are the children and what's happening, you know, we did go on well on a holiday. It was the most wonderful family atmosphere. Did it actually feel like working? Oh, yes, uh, <laughs> but in the most pleasant vein, because you had less than six weeks to do a full-length full feature movie. And I think that when you got in the morning, you started laughing, and when you left, you started. And we were almost embarrassed to take the money. We did. <laughs> I have news. <laughs> I have news. <laughs> Now look, tell me who's going to be in the lineup because obviously some of the old favourites are no longer with us, but who oh, yes. is going to be well, Sadly, they're not, but, uh, you know, everybody that is still with us will be offered parts and, please goodness, if they're available and want to do them, they will do them. And do you yet have a title for it? Yes, it's going to be called Carry On Nursing, <laughs> set in a hospital as normal. Without any NHS cuts or problems of that sort? <laughs> no, but there will be cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I probably ask. <laughs> <laughs> Does any one moment absolutely stand out in your mind from the behind-the-scenes times? Well, yes. I, one particular moment when I went, as it were, full frontal in Carry On Dick. <laughs> I, said to, I said to Jerry, I said, now, Jerry, if I'm going to be, go full frontal, I want a totally closed set for this. <laughs> and Jerry said, what do you mean? To a closed set. He said, we're on location in Chobham Common. <laughs> you see, he said, we can't. So I said, well, I want all photographers banned from the set while I do this, you see. And he said, all right, you will have no photographers out here in front of you, you see. And we had no photographers, but they all crept behind me and took a rear view. <laughs> no. 
So that was all over the newspapers. That was all over the newspapers. You forgot yes. to cover that. So yes. Yes. That was yeah. when I played bottom. Mm. <laughs> That's I wonderful. was actually facing him at the time. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> not a pretty sight. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. And we've time.